Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna share one change that I made to my content that made a huge difference and helped me to grow my audience to over 58,000 people across my various different channels. And so this change will not only help you to grow a, a better and loyal following, but it'll also help you to convert more and sell more of your stuff, whether that's products, services, sponsorship deals, whatever it is. And so this change is also going to help you reduce the amount of haters that you have. It won't completely eliminate them, which is pretty much impossible to do, but it will drastically reduce the amount of hate that you got. I've seen this happen with my, my comment section. I get a lot, a lot less hate from people and a lot less people trying to drag me down. And so it's a very small change, but I promise you it'll make all the difference in the world. So when I first started creating content, and I noticed a lot of other content creators do this as well, I used to always do how-to content, right? How to do this, how to achieve this, how to get this. And while I still have that type of content, more of what I am saying now is how I've done this or how I did this or how, how I plan to do this. So it's a very small change, but it's going from how to do this to how I've done this or how I plan to do this. Now, by making this small change, you don't give people many chances to pull you down because if you say how to do something, right? How to make a million dollars, they're gonna say, well, have you made a million dollars, right? Have you done that? And so there's a lot of people out there who create that type of content, like how to write emails that sell, how to make a million dollars, how to build a $10 million business. And they've never done it themselves. And that leaves you open to criticism and people pulling you down because they're gonna say, well, have you done this yet? And so by switching the mentality from how to do this to how I've done this, now you're only sharing things that you've done, which is how it should be, right? You shouldn't be telling somebody else how to do something if you haven't done it. It's like a fat person telling somebody how to get skinny and they're 300, 400 pounds, which I actually see that happen quite a bit is when people try to tell people to do things that they haven't done themselves. So the reason this works so well is because if you are out doing things and achieving results in your life and in your business or whatever you have going on, and you're just sharing, here, here's what I've done. Here's how I lost 10 pounds. Here's how I made $1,000 in a day. Here's how I wrote an email that did 10K. You're saying, here's what I've done. Here's exactly how I did it. And people want to get that same result because you've shown them exactly what you've done to achieve something that they want to do. So here's some examples on my LinkedIn profile. This is not how to build a $1 million a year plus one person consulting business because I haven't done that yet. I'm over halfway there, but I haven't done this. So I say my plan to do this and I map out my plan. Now, because I'm sharing my plan to do this and breaking down the numbers of my specific way I wanna do this, there's not much room for criticism, right? People can say, well, I don't like that plan, that's fine. But if I were to say how to build a $1 million a year plus one person consulting biz, people in the comments would be saying, well, where's the proof that you've already done this? So now I'm just sharing my plan, right? So you can see the subtle difference there. Now, here's another example. There are four metrics I track on a daily basis. So again, I'm sharing the metrics that I track. I shared my results for May, 741 new leads, 89 conversations, 58 offers made, 31 new clients. So I'm sharing my metrics. Here's what to track or here's what I track on a daily basis. And here's why you might wanna do that as well. Okay, so I'm sharing something that I do that I've already done and I'm sharing results from last month. And so you can see the change here, right? It's not how to do this or why you need to do this. I'm not telling people or lecturing people or scolding them into doing something. I'm saying, hey, here's what I've done. I'm just sharing with you what I did and how it worked. Let's take a look at one more example here. If I scroll down, this one did pretty good. Yeah, about a few days ago. Okay, so this is how to attract higher quality clients and repel bad ones. So instead of just giving people a step-by-step -step on here's what you should do, I gave them a live example of something that I just went through, right? So I, I shared a story about enrolling in a couple of 35K masterminds. I didn't have a second thought about it. I just said, I'm in, I was quick to make a decision. I didn't try to ask for discounts or anything. And I shared how this relates to the person reading it. If you become a good client, you're going to attract good clients. If you're a pain in the butt client, you're probably gonna attract the same types of people. So instead of just lecturing people on what to do, I share a story of how this shows up in my own life, right? What I've done. So I enrolled in these masterminds and I noticed that the more of a better client that I am, where I don't do these things here, the better clients that I attract for my own business. So if you wanna see more examples, just go through my content, LinkedIn, Facebook, my email list, my YouTube channel. 
you will see a lot of this on my YouTube channel, my more recent videos, it's how I've done this. Here's an email that did this. This one thing that I've done to do this, right? This video, this is the one change that I made to my content that's helped me to create much better content that converts and attracts the right type of people. So to wrap things up, the change that I made that has made all the difference is going from just how to and telling them step-by-step step what to do or you need to do this and you need to do that to saying here's how I've done it or here's what I did and the results that came. Here's what I did, here's what worked and didn't work. And so I'm just sharing and documenting the things that I'm doing, which also motivates me to go out and do more things, right? The more that I do, the more I can share in my content. And that's the way it should be. You should only be sharing things that you've done and the results that you've achieved or the mistakes that you made and you're sharing those. And so this little change will make all the difference in the world, especially if you're already creating content, you already have expertise and advice. So make sure that you make this change instead of just saying how to all the time and lecturing people and telling them what to do, say, here's how I've done it. Here's the results that I had or didn't have. Here's what I'm gonna try next time. Here's the changes I'm gonna make. And just more so documenting what you've already done and sharing that. And so I hope this will help you with your content creation and creating better content that actually converts and brings in the right people. If this was helpful and useful to you, give it a like. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.